What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable ping or ICMP on your computer. So for example, if you're trying to ping one of the systems or server or another computer and it's not responding to you, so most likely ICMP is disabled. I'm going to show you how to do that. There is two different ways to do that. One of them is to disable firewall and second one is just to add a rule into the firewall. I would not recommend disabling firewall because you're basically, you know, shutting down security to your computer. But if you need to do this really quick, just for a temporary solution, this is probably would be okay. So here's an example. So this computer right here, this is the laptop that's sitting right next to me. I'm remote in into it. And this is my regular computer right next to it. So my laptop IP address is 114. So I'm going to try to ping this IP address from my regular computer. And you're going to see it that I'm not getting any replies from my laptop. You can see that request timeout. So out of four times, lost is for a hundred percent loss. So here's what I'm going to do again. I'm going to do continuous ping and I'm going to disable firewall. And you're going to be able to see that I'm going to be able to ping that other laptop. So if I go back to this laptop and I'm going to open start and type control panel and then in here in control panel, I'm going to change this to small icons and in here I'm going to click on Windows Defender Firewall and in here I'm going to click on turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off and in here I'm just going to turn it off and then turn it off and then I'm going to click on OK and you can see as soon as I clicked OK on this computer, I was able to get replies back from my laptop. I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn my firewall on. And then once I click OK, you can see request timeout. So another thing what we can do right here on the control panel, you can click on advanced settings. And in here in advanced settings, what we need to do, we need to click on inbound rules. And in here, we need to right click and click on new rule. And right here, we need to click on custom and then click on next and then leave everything as default right here. Then next one more time. And then right here for protocol type, you need to expand that and choose ICMP V4. And right here, click on customize. Make sure radio button is set to all ICMP types and then click OK and then click next, leave everything as default here, leave allow the connection and then next, right here, leave everything as default, domain, private and public and then next one more time and right here, I'm just going to name this rule allow ICMP in and then you can also add a description but I'm going to leave everything as default and I'm going to click on finish and you can see once I click on finish, now I'm getting replies from my laptop. And most likely, if your computer is not going to be a domain computer, you're not going to be able to see this domain network. You're just going to see private network and guest or public network. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.